Hello everybody, welcome back to A Link to the Past. We're now in the uh, fourth part and we've just entered some building of some kind. House of Darkness. I, why should we want this, this house sounds pretty dark, I don't want to go in there, I'm scared. <laughs> What's well, in the whole dark world, you know, writes shitty poetry, hair over one eye, <laughs> it keeps telling its parents that it's going to kill itself, but really all its parents really want is for it to move out of the goddamn house. <laughs> its favorite movie, Spider-Man 3. Oh no. Oh no, it has no, terrible not, taste. Not even TJ's favorite movie is Spider-Man 3, that's how bad it is. Oh, damn. <laughs> So, it's weird though, for like, for like a world called the Dark World, the Overworld is, uh, it's, it's, it's more like the Dusk World. <laughs> it's, still, it's still pretty sunny outside for a land of darkness, you know? You mean, you could say even Twilight? Hmm? Hmm? Uh, hmm? Yeah. Maybe there's, uh, some kind of princess in that Twilight. What do you think, Mixie? Think about it, yeah. It, well, no, actually, there's just a tower and a wizard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And, and seven maidens. Oh. This is starting to sound good now. I mean, how do we get to this dark world? It's uh, it's labeled as a porno, but all they're really doing is just playing Magic the Gathering. <laughs> 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 uh, I've, I, I've seen that video. I was ex I didn't think that the beatdown would involve that the deck was red. <laughs> Are we not, are we sure this those seven maidens just didn't lose a game of Yu-Gi-Oh and just get sucked into <laughs> the other world? <laughs> they got sent only only in the four kids dub. They get sent to the to the dark world. Fuck. In the Japanese version, they're just dead. <laughs> Is that really what happens? Yeah, they, you, you know, like, yeah, they four kids invented the whole notion of of the shadow world to get around characters dying. Hold on, in that world, does their government know about this game that people are playing? <laughs> <laughs> no, only the Egyptian government cares, and let's face it, they're one of the worst dictatorships around, so who gives a fuck? I guess. You're too busy violating human rights to care about children's card games. Children's cards games that send you to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Rated PG-13. <laughs> Rated G, dude. Uh, this is crazy. Four. Four kids. Why seven? Or Peggy, whatever. I, I don't Peggy even know. Peggy seven. Pe what the fuck does Peggy even know? She doesn't even play video games. <laughs> she plays Boggle though. Boggle. <laughs> She's all out of pencils. <laughs> you, I like it if there's, if there's a new version of Boggle where if you lose, you get sent to the shadow room. <laughs> <laughs> but what happens to your coach? <laughs> Your po the coach, the coach gets uh, stuck holding all your pencils <laughs> until they have no more pencils <laughs> left to use. Uh, so, uh, a a about something that happened in the game, we got the magic hammer. In the Japanese version of this game, it's actually called the MC Hammer. <laughs> the what? The the NC Hammer? No, or the MC Hammer. MC, as in you know. <laughs> Can't touch this. Exactly. We've been talking a long time. We've been talking about it for a long time, about making our own YouTube poops, and I think Peggy Hill goes to the Shadow Realm. It's gonna be <laughs> the one. <laughs> Can we just use music from the Dark World? <sighs> oh god. Oh my god, that's gonna kill me. <laughs> Peggy, that has to be the title for this part. Peggy Hill go to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Oh my god, that's beautiful. Do we even need to make a part? Like, let's just make the YouTube We've peaked, poop. we've peaked, boys. This Stephen, it's like that. It's like that skit we want to do in the 18 isolation part. We're like, don't worry, boys, I'll hack ISIS. We have to go find their library. And then log them out of Facebook. <laughs> I, I cried. Oh, that's good. That's just because I'm a bitch, though. It's because you have feelings. Good, good times. So Zelda, this game's good. This is a good game, dude, and I totally miss telling you guys about how this dungeon is so much better if you just use the fucking magic mirror. If you will. Use the magic mirror. Like, it's kind of weird that, I mean, they give it to you the dungeon before, so you, you should know how it works. And for some weird reason, a lot of the Dark World dungeons are designed in a way where they're way harder if you just don't use the mirror, but... Like, why are you going to put a return to start item in the game and then not design your dungeons with the possibility of using that item in mind? Like, I don't understand. 
Because I didn't think about it when I was making this. I'm sorry. Well, Steven, it's okay. I mean, you still made the best Zelda game. I just... It's a criticism. I'm trying to be constructive with it. That boss was easy as shit, but it's got great design. It's a great design. I, lo I, lo I love that sprite. I, I was so... I loved how Link was humping those spikes. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> when, when things explode, spikes don't hurt you, and... Get the fucked, Mega Man. I'm a real hero. <laughs> weird. It's kind of weird that, like, Helmosaur is probably one of the easiest out of the first few bosses. Like, I would definitely say he's easier than Len Mola, just because those fuckers, you got to get your timing down really well. And then... With Moldorm, there's, you know, obviously the whole falling I off the Moldorm. platform. Dude, everyone hates Moldorm. <laughs> Why do you think so many Let's Plays end there? <laughs> but uh, no, Helmosaur's pretty easy. Like, everything is extremely telegraphed, and none of his attacks are all that random, minus him charging at you. But, like, a lot of that can be prevented if you just hold your sword out and then use the hammer. Plus, you can use the sword clicking against his helmet as sort of like an indicator that you're close enough to use the hammer, because the hammer has shit, like, damage radius. Only a very small amount of pixels, yeah, actually. it has pretty awful range. <laughs> I mean, it's a hammer. I mean, yeah, but still. <laughs> what, what do you expect, Steven? It's a fucking hammer. I don't care. I want, I want it to be like Munuel. If I throw it, that fucker comes back to me and fires lightning. I want it to be like Hammer Spark. I want to be Zudomon so much. I just want to be Gabumon. Can we just can we just reboot Zelda but put Gabumon in there instead? Um, ROM hackers, pretty please get on that. <laughs> and instead of whenever whenever you know you're at full health, the uh, Master Sword doesn't fire lasers; it fires a bunch of fucking fish. <laughs> fucking fishes. Fucking fish, go! Can we just have a link to- We redo Link to the Past, but it's directed by Joss Whedon. <laughs> so that means we only get through the light world and then it gets cancelled. Five seasons. Everyone dies. <laughs> Everyone dies and then I'm sad because the best girl died. I'm, I'm still, you know, Serenity, he killed off my two favorite characters, that motherfucker. Aw, uh, dude, I, I'm i still emotionally sad about Wash. But it's okay, because then I watch uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, <laughs> and I can just pretend that it's, like, alternate universe, or Wash didn't really die, he just got sent back in time and became a redneck. <laughs> so so, bas so basically, he, 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 he became Adam Baldwin in real life. Basically, except not begging for money and shit? Oh no wait, that's Steven Baldwin, my bad. Josh Weeded, you got a butt that won't quit. They got these pretzels here over five seasons? Get out of here. <laughs> Six seasons in a movie. I mean, I didn't even watch Dollhouse, so I can't really talk shit about it. I don't even know what you guys are talking about, but okay. I, I bought season one on DVD because it was like 10 quid, but I have not watched it yet. It's it makes no sense, but everyone's Who like. Who cares? It's got Elijah Dusky in it. That's all I need. That's all yeah, I need. She is. She is number one girl. Like it, it. It's definitely the whole Joss Whedon makes strong, kick-ass women character things like the show. Like, That's all of his shows, except for Angel. Yeah, but Dollhouse. They literally have a house full of uh, smoking hot, ass-kicking chicks. Like who are who are all hookers as well? Yeah, they're like. Technically, hooker assassins or something. It, you can weird. you can rent them out with sex. Isn't it like? Is it like every every episode? And I swear we will get back to the game in a minute or two. But no, we fucking isn't won't. Is it, is, is, is it like all the dolls like to get their memories wiped after every day, and then like, yeah. people can like rent them to be like assassins or just like have sex with them? Yes, that was it. It's funny because like in Firefly, having Inara be a hooker was actually a note from. The network that wasn't Josh's original idea. What? But I guess he, but but I guess he liked that idea so much, he was like, I'll put hookers in all my shows now. Yeah. Um. <laughs> remember when Willow was dating Seth Green and it was adorable? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, can we just go back to that? Hmm. Then then he was well, a werewolf and then it got well, he, weird. Josh Whedon always said when they got to the time in college. He was gonna make either Willow or Xander gay. He was gonna make one of them gay. Duh. But he went for Willow. How different do you think the show would have been if he had actually chosen Xander? Uh, it would have been better for me, but that's a side <laughs> note. <laughs> just, I'm so glad Joss Whedon read my fanfiction. Steven's just like, I fucking know what you idiots are talking about. 
I don't know what you're talking about. All I saw was a description for a shovel that says you can dig in many places. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is supposed to be a uh, hashtag sad moment of the game. Oh, that's right. It doesn't really make sense because you can't. I, I, I don't understand really how the dark world works. Like, is it that you're an entirely different person in the other world, or is it that like you have a copy in the other world that has a similar personality, but some people are actually in one or the other? I did make no sense. They didn't think about this game when they made it. And then they turn into trees. They, they fucking hacks in Nintendo. They don't know how to write good stories. I'll. I'm sorry. Because story isn't important. Quoted by Miyamoto. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll contact my uncle at Nintendo and tell them to fix it. If they could, and if he could also give me a super powerful Mew in my Pokemans, that would be great too. Okay. Thank you. Dear Uncle Smoothies. <laughs> <laughs> ask, ask him to confirm if Butterfreeze really die after they have sex. Well, I mean, that's most butterflies, like, I know butterflies moths- Butterflies aren't butterflies! I know moths definitely after they mate, the heads explode. Get fucked, but I'm off your frock. <laughs> I only know that because their mating grounds are in the Rocky Mountains, so, like, every fall where I lived, it was just covered in moths fucking M everywhere. MPM gets off watching moths have sex and explode. <laughs> <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> Uh, who's ready for the worst mini game in the game? I'm here to have sex and explode, and I'm all out of sex. <laughs> and I'm all out of, and I'm all out of explosions. Oh, uh, this is essentially was it was that mini game Minesweeper? Kind of, sort of. This is less complicated than Minesweeper. Minesweeper has rules. It's, it's just as tedious though. This is so tedious. Minesweeper is actually fun. <laughs> The, the shitty thing about this is that... No, no, okay. I forget if it's 16, 18, or 20, but essentially, like, the heart piece will not appear until after a certain amount of digs. Oh. So, you'll never get, like, so lucky that, oh, first dig, heart piece, I'm out of here, bye. No, you have to dig for at least a certain amount before you even get the possibility of the piece of heart to appear. Did you edit that? No, that was... Just count how many digs I got. I don't know. It was first game, which is... Diglet dig, diglet dig. Trio, trio, trio. Trio, trio, trio. <laughs> Dick Trio has such fabulous hair now. Dick Trio. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because they look like penises coming out of the ground. I thought, I thought Dick Trio was just us three. That is us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's just us poking our dicks out of one hole in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> So, Saturday nights. I don't go to the beach with those guys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Not after last time. <sighs> oh, that's weird. Weather, weather vane turned into a real bird. It's some Pinocchio-ass shit. It's the gargoyles, but crappier. Yeah, uh, the, the whole flute boy quest, I'm just going to call it a side quest, because let's face it, if they had done the exact same thing in a modern game, it'd be a lot more expanded, but... This whole dealio is that he's dead, or he's a ghost, and you gotta find his flute, and then you play his flute, and he says, oh, get the flute to my old man back in the town, and I don't do this step because it's stupid. Literally, the guy's like, oh, hey, that's my son's flute, you keep it. And then they mention, like, play it near animals, and then that's when you're supposed to, like, think, oh, hey, there's a bird on the weather veil. That's an animal. Then you play, and then you get <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. I. It's like, obscure as fuck. There are a lot of NPCs that like will clarify it a bit better, but they bring it back in Link's Awakening, where you need to uh, bring the skeleton of a rooster back to life so that the rooster can carry you across the mountains. Link's Awakening is also a weird game. Yeah. It's a Zelda game where you can jump on Goombas. And there's Kirby, or anti-Kirby. And there, there's Yoshi dolls, and there's Piranha Peeps and Chain Chumps. Yeah, I'm waiting for him to bring all that shit back. I mean, they did that on purpose just to sh make the game more surreal, but, I mean, it's Zelda. You're not going to make it any feel any more weird than it already is. With George Mosk, it's pretty fucking weird. Yeah, it's pretty fucking weird, but it's also trying so very, very hard to be sad, too. 
Why are you killing these these poor people in the dark world? They don't know any better. You can't even damage them. They're just thieves anyways. Also, this chest, if you don't get the boomerang at the beginning of the game, the level 2 boomerang's in that chest, but if you already have it, then you get some sweet money. My favorite thing about NBM, you saying uh, they're thieves and uh, mentioning Link's Awakening. Of course, I love the fucking <laughs> thing where uh, if you steal from the shop, the next time you go in there, the uh, ship owner would just say thief and he just instantly murders you. Yeah, he instant death psycho cannons you and then everyone calls and you then a thief. everyone calls you a thief yeah. for the rest of your safe file your name is changed from whatever you called yourself to just thiefing in block capitals it's beautiful so uh here's something you can't do in uh later zelda games we're gonna do some dungeons out of order so the number two dungeon is swamp palace and it's like we already passed it it's kind of right there next to palace of darkness but the way I see it, you should always, always do Thief's Town as soon as possible because this is going to let us get the level 3 sword as soon as possible. Plus, there's nothing all that difficult about this particular dungeon. It's designed in a way where the big design gimmick is the fact that the first half or so of the dungeon is just this giant room that you have to try and navigate to before you can get to the more linear back area of the dungeon which is it, it's cool it's, it's kind of cool that we've been going through a bunch of like labyrinths and hallways and then instead you have a dungeon where it's just one big room that's multiple screens wide and you just gotta try and find your way through it i didn't know we were in florida look at all the lizards <laughs> <laughs> when do we get to the uh giant ass cockroaches that can fly you know, I've never seen the cockroaches in Florida fly, but uh, people say it happens. But I've never seen it. Huh. I've also heard that, like, sometimes you can see an entire wall or corner of the room covered in ladybugs. Is that true? I've never seen that either. I don't know. Huh. Like, I understand Florida is America's basement, but it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> My basement's good. <laughs> I resent that remark. <laughs> yeah. So MBM, uh, you Holy said crap. Yeah, this is you, you said this is one Zelda game where you can play things out of order, but isn't that a big focal point of Breath of the Wild? We can just do anything in any order. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like they're starting to get back to that. Definitely with uh, honestly, they should have been doing it after Twilight Princess, but it looks like it took until the backlash of Skyward Sword for Nintendo to be like, you know, yeah. maybe we should draw is back Skyward on the Sword, linearity is of games. Sword really that hated. It is, like, and I don't really understand why, but let, let's be honest, in terms of, like, its design, void of criticism, the game is one of the most linear in terms of, like, how the story directs you and how little freedom you have in choosing what direction you go in what time. It's, it is, it is really linear, yeah. I mean, for better or worse, but Twilight Princess was also, and Twilight Princess also got criticism for it, but, like I'm saying... The criticism Twilight Princess got, I guess Nintendo just sort of didn't take it that seriously as opposed to the criticism Skyward Sword got because immediately after came um, A Link to the Past 2, which the whole, like it's kind of sad that that was like its big advertising thing other than the rental system was, you can do dungeons out of order. It's like, yeah, that's fucking Zelda, dude. Why are you marketing that? What, what game sold better twilight princess or skyward sword i still think twilight princess well, you, you know saying that saying that i would probably say i think probably twilight princess because it came out on two consoles yeah it and probably because people double, still double really double like budget. it like i said despite its flaws excluding the re-release what do you think made more sold more copies i still think Again, twilight I, would, I would probably still say twilight Princess because you know where steven when it was released it, it was on it was on gamecube and wii remember so um probably that oh yeah it was released on two consoles yeah that helped yep, it so yeah probably right. twilight princess sold more yeah also uh, help yeah these town does do a lot of things that i like because it's so different without being like super jarringly different first there's the whole entrance room and then the fact that you save the maiden midway through the dungeon only to have it be revealed that psych remember at the beginning of the game when that dude mentioned blind the thief well now he's the boss so that's that's interesting that's that's your uh narrative and gameplays coming together to uh 
support each other. You insult their story. Yeah, think about it. You insult their storytelling and then you compliment it. You. No, I am insulting their storytelling. Fucking two-faced piece of shit. No, I, I'm complimenting the storytelling. No, no. I hate the storytelling. I love the dialogue. And I like this dungeon. There. <laughs> you have you have no identity, Mexi. I'm nothing. A useless sniveling nothing. Fucking say all the people in in all the people in the dark world are thieves. Fucking what is wh why wasn't this game called Link's Awakening? Fucking racist piece of. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know. There are facts that say that rich dark world citizens do more crime than poor light world citizens. Oh my god! Oh Jesus fuck. Here we go. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus fuck. This is why we're the fucking worst. I said it last time. I pretty wish we'd get less political on these old pieces. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> the best way to do that is probably to invite Jontron. <laughs> Oh my god. DJ? No, no, no. JT. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, Nintendo of America tried to downplay it too, because in the Japanese it's called Thieves Town, and all the citizens in the town are thieves, and even the bosses blind the thief. But in the English version, it's called Gargoyles. Some Gargoyles Keep or something? I, it's super dumb. So even they were trying to be less mean to the citizens of the dark world but the, in terms of like the japanese connotations of a lot of shit the dark world is meant to be you know hell you know full of sinners and bad shit dead chickens and dead chickens <laughs> <laughs> dead chickens the chickens know what they did i like how getting that heart piece just involves you being bored <laughs> and hitting all of those pegs it's so dumb, but... Do you think do you think Link is into pegging? Oh, yeah, I mean, that whole Pegasus joke is still A, a plus there, Steven. <laughs> <laughs> glad, glad we wasted a quarter of the commentary for Tower of Hera on that. <laughs> <laughs> then again, that's probably also my fault that I made Tower of Hera, like, six minutes long, so... Oh, yeah. Well, we got... we. Two two maidens, one part. That should be the name of our new um, <laughs> porno. Sure. Only if you get to be the maiden, Steven. Temper my sword, uh, please. And thank you. Thanks the hero now. He's got that ego. I don't know why they do this whole dealio. Like, I guess it's because now we're swordless. So they kind of want to make it seem like it's a bad thing, but no, this is how you get the level 3 sword, which is something that I don't think works with the story, because the Master Sword's supposed to be all fucking amazing and god tier, and then just these two dwarves can make it even better. Fucking how? Mm -hmm. Dwarf magic. How do you lock a key inside a chest without the key to lock the lock? Um, tell that to my car. Oh my god. Tell it to my car, dude. <laughs> you send it. You send it to the shadow realm. <laughs> have, any, have any of you guys ever locked your key inside your car? All the fucking time, dude. Me too. <laughs> While it's running, like, yeah. Oh, I, I have to have my. <laughs> While it's driving away, and I'm inside. It's it's pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have my insurance's roadside assistance on speed dial. There you go. All right, so I can't tell if this is meant to be like a poor translation or if it's like the joke. I think it's a joke. Well, I, I get that too, but it's also really, really badly explained that the whole half magic is actually double magic. Yeah. What it's supposed to be is that everything now uses half, as much. half the amount of magic. Yeah. And the Mad Batter, dude, he comes back in Link's Awakening also, because Link's Awakening is clearly just a Link to the Past portable. And uh, he does something similar, but instead he actually upgrades the amount of, like, bombs and arrows and seeds that you can hold. And the joke there is he's like, haha, look at all that shit you have to carry now. And in, in this one, the curse is the double magic. Hmm, that's right. 
Yeah. You, Dang, it's it's orange. You can walk off the screen. Dude, orange is best sword. You can walk off the screen, but it's kind of cool that you can, you know, take care of the mad batter upgrade while you do while that counts as going off screen for the temper sword. So, optimization. Link used fly. <laughs> Oh, you're going to the man who has the sign that says, pay no attention to this man. Yep. <laughs> this dude's so fucking dumb. He, this guy's also a thief, but he's in the light world, so he's like an immigrant or something. I wonder if anyone's ever cosplayed as that guy. I don't know, dude. I need to do it now. Yep. Too many games, make it so. I was going to say, y'all could see me at too many games with pink hair and booty short tunic. Be there, be square. That guy attacked you while you were playing the flute, man. Rude. The Hyrule Guards just have no etiquette. Although it looks more like an ocarina. But... Yeah, and that's why they translate it differently. It's even that nice light shade of blue. Yeah. Way to go, Nintendo, you fucking hacks. Oh, I'm actually said something bad about Nintendo. We're gonna get this LP copyright struck in and we're gonna get a bunch of thousand downvotes. And how are we gonna make internet money now? Sonic 06 is a bad game. There we go. The universe has been restored. Generation Part 5. Bye.